Benj, good morning and a very warm welcome to you all for uh, being here today. Uh, could I encourage you please to come as close to the wall as you can so that you don't, you don't have to stand further back at all. Please do come in. Hopefully the PA will do its job and we'll all be able to hear well enough today. We all know why we're here. We're here to remember our fallen. We're here to pay our respects to those who in time of war and peace paid the ultimate sacrifice and laid down their lives in the service of our nation. We remember them all. And we remember them in this rather beautiful place. The design of this war memorial is unique. The stones stand as a permanent reminder to us of the sacrifice made by so many in the districts of our island, from Tang to Grace, men who, re who re responded to the call to arms to go to foreign lands to fight the good fight, to look out for the defenceless, to protect the weak, and to fight for the hopeless. We remember them all here today. The service will run as it always has done, following our, our usual pattern here in back. Our first singing will be in Gaelic. Our second singing will be in English. Bo Crichton will be leading our singing today. Uh, Mr. Mo Murray will be Master of Ceremonies for the laying of the wreaths. And, uh, and Willie McCritchie, a veteran of the Royal Air Force, will also take part in our remembrance <coughs> service. So from the orders of service, as you'll see, we're going to sing first of all from Psalm 46. These two verses in Gaelic, and Bo is going to lead our singing. Jesus, heaven, down to death, as soon as he is a king. Jesus, Let us pray. O 
Almighty God, we stand here together today, a community as one, and we remember today our fallen. We gather here, Lord, to give thanks for the freedom they protected, the freedoms we enjoy day by day, that they took a stand in their generation for democracy, and we ask, Lord God, that we would day by day remember them. As we do so, Lord, we honour them. For we remember the sacrifice made by so many for the freedoms enjoyed by others down through the generation. Lord, we ask that you would speak to our hearts in these few moments we gather before you. For we gather in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Saviour, the King and Head of the Church who says, Come to me, all you who labour and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Bless, Lord, your word to us, we pray today. For Jesus' sake, Amen. Scripture reading from the book of Second Chronicles in the Old Testament, where we read of a king, a king in prayer at a time of great need. Judah is facing invasion, and so King Jehoshaphat gathers all the people to him. And Judah assembled to seek help from the Lord. From all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said, O Lord God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nations. In your hand are power and might, so that none is able to withstand you. Did you not, our God, drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel, and give it forever to the descendants of Abraham your friend? And they have lived in it, and built for you in it a sanctuary for your name, saying, If disaster comes upon us, the sword, judgment, pestilence, or famine, we will stand before this house and before you, for your name is in this house, and we shall cry out to you in our affliction, and you will hear and say, And now, behold, this horde has come against us. Behold, they have come up to drive us out of your possession, which you have given us to inherit. O our God, will you not execute judgment on them? For we are powerless against this great horde, that is coming against us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel, and he said, Listen, all Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you, King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord to you, Do not be afraid, and do not be dismayed at this great horde, for the battle is not yours, but God's. A king in time of desperate need, a nation facing invasion and catastrophe, turning to God. It's a model for how we are to live our lives, be it as royalty or just ordinary people like most of us are. And we gather today as a community to remember the men and women of our armed forces who in times of war and peace lost their lives in the service of our country. We remember our fallen because they in their day responded to a call to arms to protect the weak, to defend the vulnerable, and to fight against those who would deny others life, liberty, and happiness. The very things denied by tyranny and oppression. That's what these stones speak to us of today. That's what our poppies speak to us of today. And so our military deployed in World War I and World War II, and these stones bear the names of those who never came home. The Glengarrys and Bearskins of our famous battalions were exchanged for steel helmets and grenades. Bagpipes and polished boots were replaced with rifles and kit bags. Drill parades were replaced with incoming rounds from a determined and ruthless enemy. Ultimately, homes and families were exchanged for battlefields in foreign lands, foreign oceans, and the skies above them. Why did they go there? They went to secure a lasting peace, and many of them never came home. And so we stand here today to remember them, to remember those from tongue to grace who never came home, families torn apart, bereavement and loss. Our poppies speak of the cost of the freedoms we enjoy so much today. The story of our armed forces goes on from these two awful conflicts that these stones bear testimony to. 
and with the closing of World War II, our armed forces have been deployed in Palestine, Malaysia, Korea, Egypt, Kenya, Cyprus, Suez, Aden, Northern Ireland, the Falklands, the Gulf, the Balkans, Iraq and Afghanistan. In every one of those theatres of war, men and women lost their lives. We remember them all today. Theirs is a story of service, duty, courage. And they were men and women just like us who responded to a call to arms when they were needed most to protect the helpless, to defend the hopeless. Theirs is a story of immense courage, self-sacrifice and tragic loss. So it is right and fitting that today we pause before God to remember them, to remember our fallen and to honour them. In doing so, we ensure we will not forget and we tell the next generation, don't forget these men and women. Remember what this place stands for. Remember what these stones are actually saying to us. Remember the significance of the poppy and never ever forget those who never came home. That's why we're here today, to honour them and to give thanks to God for the victory secured through their sacrifice for a life of freedom, and happiness and democracy that we still enjoy today. May God bless us for these few moments as we now come to our act of remembrance. We'll hand over to Mo. Let us hear our call to remembrance. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn at the going down of the sun and in the morning. We will remember them. And as Iatsen ist, Mahashinya Rakal, the fast ist, Haviskis ne Hilschore, Mujijich ne Mleone, Et dort vorne grehen, alle Sounds of Atten, Fischen gang heinoche. Let us remember them together then, in joining with the nation at this time, and observing two minutes of silence. When you go home, tell the mothers and say, for you tomorrow, we gave out today.
we now come to the to the laying of wreaths by various organizations. So please come forward when your organization is called. On behalf of His Majesty the King, the Deputy Lord Lieutenant of the Western Isles. Park Community Council. War Memorial Committee. <coughs> Park Free Church Congregation. The Royal British Legion. Merchant Navy. <coughs> Back and Tongue Schools. Any other organizations present who wish to lay a wreath, please come forward now. That concludes the laying of wreaths, and I'll hand back to Reverend Colin. Let us pray. Lord our God, we stand here today in this beautiful part of our community in our districts and we remember and we ask Lord as we do so that you would be near to us and that you would do us good we come Lord to you for to whom else can we go you have the words of eternal life we saw in King Jehoshaphat that awareness that there was no one else to turn to but to you the living God almighty in power and glorious in might amazing in grace and close in peace and may we lord continue to enjoy the fruits of the labors of our previous generations especially those who paid the ultimate sacrifice 
and laying down their lives in the service of our nation, we remember them. Lord, we seek to honour that sacrifice by being the best we can possibly be, by doing good to others, by looking out for one another. And we, Lord, pray today for those who still experience war, where the people of Ukraine have been so displaced in recent months. And we see time and again, Lord, the outbreak of war across the world, where we see man's inhumanity to man, where we see pride and hatred, and where we see death and suffering. We pray, Lord, for nations, communities, and individuals who are so affected today by war. We remember, Lord, those closer to home, those who today remember lost loved ones, those who, in responding to the call to arms, never came home, those for whom today is so extremely special, moving, emotional, difficult, and yet in its own way comforting. Be with them, Lord, especially this day, we pray. And so we ask that you be with us as we go into this new week, that we might know you to be close and above all seek to honour you by responding to your call to trust in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Saviour, in whose name we ask these things. Amen. We're going to close our service in a moment by singing from Psalm 23 in our service, order of service to, in, in English, Psalm 23. Before singing, if I could extend an invitation to you all, if you wish to come to the hall, for tea and coffee at the close of the service you're all very welcome and you're also of course more than welcome to come to our service of worship which the church begins at 12 noon today it's delayed because we're here first so that's the hall at the close of the service and then the church service at 12 o'clock you're all most welcome Bo will now lead our singing yes. My shepherd, I
close with prayer. Lord our God, we pray that you would be to us as these soldiers were to their generation, that you would be a wall around us at night and in the day. May we know, Lord, your protection, and may we know you to be our refuge and help in time of trouble. Part us with your blessing this morning, and may we know the grace and mercy and peace of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always. Amen.